Aloha and welcome friends to Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii 2023. When we weren't allowed to gather on the beach in 2020, we had no idea it would be three years until we'd be able to come back together again. It's been three long years and the world has changed so much. We've been separated physically and that isolation may have led to feelings of division and disconnection. With that in mind, we were drawn to a theme that would help us set our intention for this year's ceremony, Lokahi. You know, a lot of us know Lokahi as translated into unity. Um, but with the Hawaiian language, there are many different layers of understanding. You might look at Lokahi or unity as thinking like, okay, we're all coming together as one. But the deeper meaning is that we were always one. We were never apart. This meaning of the word lokahi resonates in a very deep place with the word shinyo. Shinyo refers to the shared innate goodness that exists within all things, within ourselves and what surrounds us. Each one of us can bring out all the beautiful colors and hues that make us unique, but still see ourselves collectively in all our richness as being one and already whole. I get the sense that uh, coming out or exiting or transitioning out of the time of the pandemic, there's a lot of emotions that are there, but one of them is grief and trauma. Sometimes those emotions can serve to further distance us and isolate, isolate us. And so the idea of, of Lokahi or of Shinyo, that we're already connected, that you don't really need to force a connection, but you just have to rediscover it, feels very empowering. The founder of our path to Shinyo, Master Shinjo Ito, taught us to have unwavering trust that we can build a good future. We may face harsh realities and struggles, but let us always remember Shinyo and Lokahi and not lose sight of the light of love and friendship that are here. With the light of love and friendship in mind, let's meet five members of our community who will light the guiding lanterns in tonight's Light of Harmony ceremony. These lanterns carry collective prayers so that all spirits that ever existed are remembered in the lantern floating. Our lighters were selected because of their connection with these collective prayers. When I first learned what prayer I would be focusing on, that. Um, centers around discrimination and those who have experienced uh, discrimination, exclusion, isolation. That meant something to me because I, I rep represent many communities which have historically been excluded. When we are excluded or when we are discriminated against, our entire existence, our very core, becomes a source of pain. And I think the best part about this prayer is that a lot of this trauma can be healed now, in this lifetime. You know, while we're thinking of those who are gone on and grieving for those who have gone on, there's a lot that we can do now to stop this type of discrimination. I'm going to be speaking up in honor of the prayer for native flora and fauna and for the plant and animal kingdom. You know, as humans, we tend to think it's all about us. You know, what do I need to survive? Or what do I, what do I need to do um, to you know, make money? Or whatever it might be. But sometimes overlooking what it takes to keep us alive on Earth. The fresh air we breathe, the clean water we drink, the food we eat, it all comes from nature. If we take the time to just slow down and breathe the fresh air, listen to the birds, and you know, think a little bit about you know, where we come from and what's going to happen in the future. What are we going to leave for future generations? I think we'll be um, taking care of the earth better that way. I would say the two prayers that are most attached to is the immigrant experience, uh, the Native Hawaiian experience, and also health, health care. Native Hawaiians, you know, we struggle with, you know, all kinds of social statistics, imprisonment, uh, lack of education, lack of housing, homelessness, 
And so, you know, we got to continue to malama our hosts. You know, we, we being American uh, government, you know, came and kind of intruded, uh, kind of opened the door without knocking. And if you will, set up shop uh, in a way that had hurt a lot of Native Hawaiians. I think this Lantern Ceremony allows us that, that opportunity to forgive, um, not forget, but to forgive, to get to rec reconcile, um, and then hold hands together to, to try to find a better place, uh, not just for Native Hawaiians, but for all of us together. I would be attached to the prayers of victims of war and victims of religious conflict. We must never stop paying homage to the victims of war. Uh, they have given so much uh, for our freedom. I'm reminded today to uh, just remember those individuals who are no longer with us um, for the principles of what they uh, believe in and principles of uh, what they fought for. We keep them alive by speaking their name. We keep them alive by recalling the memories with them. And I believe when we talk about those who have fallen and we recall them, um, they're sort of like a light in our past, uh, lighting the way for a, a bigger, brighter, and better future. I'm gonna be carrying the prayer petitions for victims that have suffered from illness and disease and pandemics. We acknowledge the people that suffered both from COVID, but also the people that continued to suffer from normal everyday illness and families that were affected by that as well. I, I think it's just important to acknowledge um, everyone that suffered from illness during that time. I heard a quote a long time ago about um, our a master navigator, um, Papa Mao. Well, I think what he said was that, um, in order to navigate, you must be brave. And in order to be brave, you must remember. And so part of understanding where we're going in the future is being brave. And being brave means that we remember and acknowledge those that have come before us, those that we have loved, that have gone on. Um, all of that helps us to collectively remember. And that, I think, informs and empowers us to move forward. Remembering our loved ones is so important, but it's also hard. At its core, grief is love, but the grieving process hurts and it takes time. Rosalind Katrasha joined us to share about her mom, Bibi Freitas, and to talk about her experience of loss. I grew up in a very musical house. My mom was an amazing musician. She was such an amazing musician. She was better at the age of six than I'll ever be in my life. She was a prodigy. I would just listen to her playing with the most amazing people. And she was so good that I knew I would never be able to do it. But she saw a gift in me that I didn't see. And then we started to work together at the church. She would play the organ at the church. I would play the piano, sometimes right here at Punahou. I would be down there on the piano. She'd be here in the organ. We would be making music together. I still hear her music in my head, like I did before. I see a counselor each week trying to still deal with losing mom and other things because life is crazy hard. And um, she was saying, don't you know your mom lives in you? And I'm just like, yeah, 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 I've heard that. I know the song. I have glimpses of that. Um, sometimes the way I say something, the way I'll, I'll react to something, the way I'll um, encourage somebody. But um, there are other times where I really just like, no, I want her here now. She lives in me, but I want her sitting next to me. I wanna have coffee with her. I wanna have dessert with her. I wanna have a sandwich with her. I wanna hear her tell me with absolute words. Boy, I guess I'm going through a bunch of emotions right now, aren't I? Um, Having other close friends, other family members who have had other people pass on some five, 10, 20 years later in their journey. I keep on saying things like, you know, I'll be fine one day. And they say, well, it doesn't really ever go away. And that's actually helped me, makes me remember I'm not 
going to forget her. I shouldn't try to shove the memories aside or the emotions or the feelings aside. There are moments when when I'm playing music and I I look I feel her on my left side because she's always there on the organ and I would be over here on the piano. I feel her there and it's it's almost like angels are in the room at that moment. While I don't understand everything right now, I think that the love that we experience during the time on this precious earth together, it keeps on growing stronger. When it first happened, I didn't believe it was going to be okay. But one of my dear friends said, Roz, I know you're not seeing it right now, but it is going to be okay. And it is okay. I have seen the most beautiful sunrises since she passed away. I have laughed harder than I thought I could laugh again. I didn't think that was going to be possible at one point after she passed away. But it is going to be okay. Thank you so much, Roz. I think we all can relate to what you're going through and we're so grateful to you for opening your heart to us. And now, we're finally ready to return to the beach. I'll see you over there. More than 50 years ago, in a prayer for world peace and happiness, the founder of Shinyo Inn envisioned a lantern floating ceremony here in Hawaii, where all in attendance could connect with that which cannot be seen but which can be felt in the deepest part of our souls. Almost three decades later, and for the next 20 years, we came together on the south shore of Oahu, leaving behind that which divides us, coming together as one. The pandemic turned our world upside down, and it put a halt to what had become a tradition for so many. We've continued to honor our loved ones, but we haven't been able to feel their presence here where our prayers for peace and comfort can be offered towards the setting sun. Today, we return once again, weathered but unbroken, in the spirit of Shinyo and Lokahi, to honor all beings who have ever been blessed with life. Welcome to Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii.
Aloha, friends. It feels so good to be back here with all of you for the first time since 2019. In the last few years, we've all experienced some form of separation, heartache, and loss. As we settle into this new chapter, we're still carrying the scars from the pandemic and wishing for more time with loved ones who left too soon. Remembering this year's theme of lokahi, that we are all one. We hope that this ceremony provides a space for all of you here on the beach and everyone watching around the world to remember, grieve, and heal together. We hold this occasion on Memorial Day because the idea for it was sparked when the founder of the Shinyo tradition, Master Shinzo Ito, offered prayers for the fallen at the Arizona Memorial in 1970. He thought of the pain created through human conflicts and division and imagined a gathering held here in Hawaii that would offer hope and healing for all. So today, as we gather on Memorial Day, we'd like to pay homage to all who gave their lives in service for our country. We're honored to be joined by the families of Army Specialist Toby R. Olson, Army Sergeant Eugene Williams, and Army Private First Class Kevin S.K. Wessel. Please join us in a moment of silence to honor their loved ones and all of our fallen soldiers. Kumu Haoliakaka will now welcome all who are gathered here at this moment as he chants a mele ho'okipa entitled Ano Ai, composed by Edith Kavelohea Mackenzie. Following the Oli, Kumu Haoli will be joined by his daughter, Ka'ano'i, to perform a hula to the mele Kale Moana, which is written for Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii by Dr. Puakea Nogomeyer. Ano ai ko kako mea ho ki pa e Amen ame ano ano Ke ho o hiva hiva i ane i ma ko ula e ai E hui pu i kava i vai O ko kako uma uku puna la e ai Ia hi pu u ia kako i kaloka hi Kana lu i mi a kako uma i kahiki mai la e ai Me ke aloha no kako apau me ke aloha no kako apa. Aloha. Mana ewe ewe o ke ao kanaka Ka wo wo mai a kukupu nui a e Laha la iu ka laha no i kai I lau laha apuni ka honua nei e E ala e ala e Who cave kiu i ta uhi vai Kili kili hune mai ka noe noe lani Kulu pe ka laula au o ka wauna ele Mana mana maila na manoe o uka 
a kahe kawai o la ina o hawai o uli e e ala e ala e ola o uka i ka paka paka ua ola o kei i ka pili ka hawai Ka ka na maka ke awa ke a ita ulu ma hua hua o kaina ka he a vai kanaka ike ala o ke ola e ala e e ala e. Nei nei mo ku ola ike kai la la. Nehe nehe mai ana itawai one aheli hukakai o kamuli vai ike kahe ana ku i kamo ana mano mano kaha vai kuni kamo ana nui e e ala e ala e. Ikea Kalei Moana. Ikea Kalei Moana. Mahalo kumu hauoli and kaanoi for that beautiful gift. We're thrilled to have Her Holiness Shinso Ito with us tonight. Her Holiness is head priest of Shinyo-en and one of the few women who have become a high master of esoteric Buddhism and received the highest rank of Dai Sojo. Here to share her message with all of us here in Hawaii and around the world, accompanied by attending priests, please welcome Her Holiness Shinso Ito. Aloha. Shinyo, Hawaii Toro Tangashi ni yōu koso okushi kudasaimashita. Gorahin wo hajime unye staffu, volantia no katagata, soshite ビーチやテレビでご参加のすべての皆様に熱く御礼申し上げます。ありがとうございます。誰もが願う安らぎと平和、幸せに満ちた毎日。けれども、幸福な人生は個々の努力だけで実現できるものではありません思い起こしてください人は多くの存在に支えられ生きていることをそして今の自分を
生み出してくれた先祖身近なところで勇気を与えてくれるかけがえのない家族や友人そうしたつながりに感謝し今度は少しでも誰かのためにと利他の行動に移す時善なる個性は輝き生きる喜びを感じることができるのです。新女園改装新城と霊宗小獣神院は過去現在未来あらゆる良き個性を生かしそして合わせ融和世界へ導く信女の道を開きました人生には厳しい現実やさまざまな葛藤に直面することもあります大切な人との悲しい別れもありますそういう時こそみんなで心を一つにいたしましょうそして共に涙し語り合うこの一体感こそ真如希望ある未来を開く根源です雄大なハワイの海からあまねくに真女の御光をシェアすべくこれより融和の正義に入りますよろしくお願いいたします本日はありがとうございました We're so grateful to have Her Holiness share Hamana'o with us tonight. At the beginning of our program, we were introduced to five members of our community that will be joining Her Holiness in lighting our guiding lanterns for tonight's ceremony. And now, Dr. Kimo Alameda, U.S. Air Force Chaplain Dr. Captain Damian Balin, 
Dr. Ashley Ono, Pauline Sato, and Brian Talisayan will join Her Holiness to light the guiding lanterns in the Light of Harmony ceremony. Mahalo to our five lighters for being here with us tonight and helping us with that special ceremony. And now, Her Holiness will conduct a blessing of the beach, the lanterns, and all who are being remembered tonight. This is a merit transfer ceremony where we offer prayers for our departed loved ones so they may find peace wherever they are. Supporting Her Holiness in reciting sutras or prayers, we have the Shinyo En Shomyo Choir.
Friends, family, Ohana, you may float your lanterns.
send this lantern out full of love for Diane. May she know we remembered. May she know she was loved. May she know how much we miss her. Dear Michael, we miss you so much. Looking at family photos with you there makes us both happy and sad. Happy for the good times we shared and sad that we won't see you again in this realm. We see you when we look at the heavens with the stars. You are the star Kapuahi, also known as Aldebaran. Love, Mom, Dad, and the Ohana. Aloha. This goes out to Lisa, Mr. B, and especially my mom. Thank you so much for loving me, believing in me, and giving me opportunities that I never thought I would take. I miss you all very much. Please say hello to all my friends and family that are there with you. Love you. Dad, thank you for the memories you've given us. We wish heaven was just a video call away. We hope you found peace and eternal light now that you're healed. Please continue to watch over us, especially your grandkids. We love and miss you. Thank you for your love and support. Although we miss you dearly, there is some relief to know you are no longer in pain. We continue to try to live up to the example you set, and although we may never measure up, we'll be better because you tried. Cheryl, our days will never be the same without you. We know you watch over us and feel your presence in all that we do. Aloha, my brother. Wish you well on your journey. Till we meet again, love you. This has been such a special evening, and I hope you have found some comfort here with us. We've waited a long time to gather together again in this way, and we're so grateful for the opportunity to finally be here once again. We send our mahalo and aloha to each and every one of you for making tonight possible. As we come to the close of tonight's ceremony, We'd like everyone here at the beach and everyone watching around the world to come together as one, capturing what tonight has been all about, lokahi and shinyo. Please join us as the students from Monawili Elementary School lead us in the singing of Hawaii Aloha.
Thank you for joining us for Shinyo Lantern Floating Hawaii 2023. A special mahalo to all who helped make this community event possible. On behalf of Shinyo and Nale Aloha Foundation, Aloha Ahui Hope.